welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Skyrim. We are outside Angie's hut. I rode back down the mountain and decided to stop here and warm up because I was freezing my ass off up there. And, uh, yes, we, we've been having a bit of a strange day. Um, Cordius is pretty much sat here right now feeling a little confused and, uh, well, yeah, you know that scene in in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade where everyone thinks Indiana Jones has fallen off the cliff with the tank and then he climbs back up again and Marcus Brody is sat there looking really confused and trying to piece two and two together. Well, that's, that's Claudius right now, pretty much. <laughs> um... A very very strange day indeed, but uh, never mind. We we've 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 had stranger, and there will probably be stranger yet to come. But yeah, we found the first of Orneral's bones. We found his hand, and by going into Hercene's hunting grounds and killing some of his minions, which I'm sure he appreciated. Um, he probably thinks we're a bit of a cheeky sod, really. <laughs> <laughs> All things considered at this point. Um, we went in there and we managed to acquire Honoral's strength, which had been stolen by Hercene and kept in the hunting grounds. Uh, Honoral's strength, for those curious... Um, where is it? Here. Hercene's gift of strength ca increases carrying capacity. So there you go. We've got a bit more carrying capacity as a result of that, which is pretty neat. Um, some people will have undoubtedly asked, um, is this a mod or is this in the vanilla game? No, it's a mod. It's called And the Realms of Daedra, I believe. I downloaded it a very, very long time ago and uh, never actually got around to uh, doing it. So it's a quest mod, which I'm playing blind, essentially. And um, I'm pretty impressed so far, it's got to be said. Um, that was actually pretty awesome, but anyway. Uh, enough of this. Enough of this. Let's let's get back to Falkreath, where it's decidedly warmer. Um, maybe we can have something to drink, something to eat. I've still got a metric ton of elk hanging around. And, um, let's see. Well, I do believe... Yeah, you know, the, 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 the two altars are the Taskmaster's Altar and the Altar of Hermamora. Um... Where would they be? The Taskmaster's Altar is over here. Not too far from Whiterun. And what about the other one? It won't tell us. Anyway, it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. The Altar of Hermamora. So, it's technically in High Rock, interestingly enough. Um, I hope we can get there. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, yeah, um, so those are something to be getting on with in the meantime. However, our business in Falkreath has been pretty much concluded. Um, the leader of Knife Point Ridge is dead. The uh, Sinding has been saved. By, uh, saved from, from, from the hunters Hercene sent after him. Um, we have found Hercene's altar and retrieved the soul of Orneral from the hunting grounds. And, um, that's pretty much it for everything here. We're done. I'm sorry to say, we're, we're leaving Falkreath now, I'm afraid, and we're heading back to Whiterun to see the companions again. Um, and I say sad to, sad to say, because, uh, I've quite enjoyed my time in Falkreath, actually. Um, it's actually one of my favourite parts of the entire game, is Falkreath Hold. Um, I like it a lot. Don't really know why, just the sort of general layout of the land. That big, expansive, dense forest. Um, the quests here are pretty good too, like the the, the, the Hercene quest with Sin Sinding is um, jolly good fun. It's a, it's a really good quest, I never get caught time doing that, seriously. Um, yeah, no, I just like this part of the world. Uh, it's good. It's, it's nice and close to Cyrodiil too, come to think of it. But yeah, yeah, we, we sadly we have to leave now. Um, B 
be on our way. Basically. Because we have things to do. Oh, you know what? See, here's the thing. I'm not used to the immersive HUD not, uh, you know, having the contextually activated frostfall things. Like, cause I, now when I see that pop up, I instantly think, oh god, combat. But actually, no. It's not combat. It's just telling me I'm getting colder. You see health bar. Well, not health bars, but bars appear on the screen. I instantly assume something is wrong. <laughs> but we're okay. As soon as we get out of the snow. Oh. oh, yes, indeed. Fucking hell, mate. That was chilly, to say the least. Very chilly. Hello, a tent. Did this belong to the bandits? Probably did, you know. I was about to say, actually, it's a bit desaturated down here, but no, I think it's just the, the lighting changing because we're in a different zone and stuff like that. Looks fine now. Tanning rack. Can we make anything on this? There's a bit of delay there. That was a bit strange. Auxiliary armors. A bandana. Okay. Rambo Claudius. Somehow I think not. Although, speaking of Rambo, I almost called, called the first episode First Blood. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have done. <laughs> oh dear. I didn't see you on the way up. What happened to you? I really seriously did not mean to do that. I am very sorry. You can have those those back. I'm again. I'm, I'm getting my fallout and my my Skyrim keys mixed up here. Whoops. Anyway, yeah. No. I, on second thoughts, I'd rather leave to the imagination what happened to you because I've got a fairly good idea what happened to you, considering there were bandits hanging around here a little while ago. Um, yes, dearie me. We did loot you guys, right? Didn't we? I didn't, in a moment of chronic let's play absent-mindedness, forget to loot you. Well, I guess you've got that. I love that. I think I did loot you for the most part, though. Oh, flowers, yes. What well, a bit of fucking flowers, yeah. Big manly dragonborn going picking flowers. Hi. <laughs> uh, well, you know. Got to get my elemental resistances from somewhere. Oh! Get off the horse, get off the horse, get off... Damn it, man! Get off the horse! Ah! You know what, if I just... Can I jump off the horse if I... There we go, yeah. Whoa! Does someone... Blah! Off the horse. There we go. God, it's really delayed. I don't know why that is. Are you running away now? Or, oh, oh, good grief. Okay. Uh, don't I have Kind's Peace? I do! Man, I'll be on your way. Silly creature. Huh. Nice. I've not used that yet. Is that hotkeyed? That better be hotkeyed. It is, indeed. Oh, I'll have to remember that in the future. It does make my horse glow blue, which I'm not not sure how I feel about that, honestly. But hey, you know, whatever. It's actually turning out to be a rather nice day down here. This, this, I this I have to admit could indeed pass for summertime. Up there, no, no chance. It's a shame they didn't manage to put dynamic seasons in the game. I think that was originally. Possibly that's something that was planned, actually. Considering it's one of the things they kind of decided to implement in that game jam thing they did. That would have been seriously cool, though. Maybe some clever model will do it someday. Hey, oh, freezing. Ah, that's just the auto saves, right? Okay. Still got to get used to that. Um, alright then. Well, what time is it? 3.42 p.m. Spot a lunch, mayhaps. I'm going to go speak to the smith, sell a few things. 
Maybe buy a few things, who knows. Hello, good sir. Did you see a hound on the road? Flying, strong creature that's been wandering near town? Uh, <laughs> saw a hound on the road. I suppose, you, in a manner of speaking, and I'm, although I'm pretty sure it's not the one you were looking for. <clears throat> um, nope, sorry. There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you are willing to retrieve him, well, may I give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road? In my experience, mate, they just get in the way. They really do. Uh, but, but, but fine. Um... I... yeah, they don't... Uh, you're not going to let me talk to you, are you? Like, like, partner with you, unless I agree to do this, are you? You know, no. Because I've already had this conversation before. Lord, there's some gold in it for you if you succeed. Here's the meat. Check the road just outside of town. Well, I'm heading out of town. If I do see him, I suppose I'll try and bring him back here. Um... Either way, deals good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengear first, and the Empire second. Good man, that's what I like to hear. Uh, now then, yeah, it just sounds sounds like loyalty is important to you. I was Dengear's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect her. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an oath? No. It was because he was a good man and a true friend. A true Nord places loyalty and honor above all else. Commendable. Um, yeah, Falkreath does seem quiet, actually. Um, aside from that whole vampire incident lately, you lot are a bit... You know, you're, you're pretty... wouldn't say relaxed, but yeah, quiet. Only inside the gates. Much of Falkreath holds this wilderness, and there's plenty of trouble to be had. Oh, don't I know it. Um, anyway, what do you got for sale? I was dead gears. Oh, why would I do that? No. The true Nord places loyalty What have you got for sale? Take a look. Thank you. Creepy smile. <laughs> um, anyway, Apotheus gloves. They look kind of cool. Shame they're light armor. Brigand plate. Also, wh what the hell? Why does that have armor zero? Have I done screwed something up, or is that... Uh, heavy armor, armor zero. That, mm, that can't be right. Uh, never mind. Um, I'll figure that out at a later date. Ebony armor, you say? Blimey. Look at that. It's bloody expensive, however. You should probably keep that, I suppose. Um, heavy splinted round shield Round light shield again. It's a bloody mouthful and a half. Heroic stormcloak boots. Don't think so somehow. What are you doing with a pair of heroic stormcloak boots, eh? Ingot gold, iron, steel. Ah, e mm, yeah. I need to keep an eye out for malachite and dwarven metal. I need those if I'm gonna make myself a. A set of advanced alchemical equipment which will allow me to actually finally after all this time take advantage of the um, alchemy redone mod um, and also I think I want some steel ingots I might have to check on my horse first if I've got any but I want some steel ingots because I want to see if I can make some improved crossbow bolts actually like, I've not done that in a while and since we seem to be encountering a lot of dragons of late friendly or, or otherwise I, although I, I, I really hesitate to call that, that dragon friendly. More like indifferent. Um, uh, Spellbinder Runic Helmet. Now that's, in, that's bloody impressive looking. I've got to say. I'm not sure it's quite my style, but... Uh, it's interesting, isn't it? Pretty good, though, armor-wise. Also expensive, however. If so this will be Immersive Arbor's version 7 finally kicking in, I was really behind on that. I didn't install version 6 because, um, in case you're wondering why I didn't install version 6, it was because 
Um, there are a lot of armors in it that, even though the mod totes itself as being law friendly, there are a lot of armors that were very peculiarly named, like Viking armor used to be in version 6. Um, and there ain't no Vikings in Tamriel, let me tell you that. There are a lot of people who look a lot like Vikings, I'll grant you, but there aren't any actual Vikings. That's something very specific. And so I really have to kind of shake my head when they say they're being law friendly and then put an armor in the game called Viking armor. But in this version, that's been fixed. So I'm totally fine with it. And some of the really new armors are really, really cool. So anyway, uh, let's see what we've got to sell you, my old mate. Normally I edit this crap out, but never mind. Oh, I could get rid of the Daedric Dagger. I never use it, after all. Got this now, which is much better. Yeah, go on, take it. Uh, and that, and that, and that. I have a lot of arrows. I, have, I imagine a lot of these are ones that was shot at me at one point or another, actually. Yeah, that'll do. Thanks very much. Be at my forge if you need arms or armor. Oh, hi there. Greetings. Uh, do you have anything for sale? What can I do for you? You do? Holy crap, cool. Boiled chitin heavy gauntlets. Crikey, okay. That's exotic. Heavy spiked body light shield. What? Nord male heavy coif. Okay. You don't have any Malachi, do you, by any chance? No, I don't think so. Shaman light boots. Sea dog gauntlets, wow. Witch plate hood. Crikey. I suppose we want to play a mage character. Uh, hmm. Right, very interesting. Uh, but, um. Fur plate. Eh? What? Oh, whatever. Um, very interesting, but uh, not in, not not particularly useful to me, I'm afraid. Isabel, thanks all the same. Do you ever get bored here? It's all right. Although we've gotten a lot less visitors after the dragon attacked Helgen. That's what I enjoyed most. Meeting all the travellers across the border from Cyrodiil and sharing stories of home. But now you're here, and I can tell just by looking at your hands that you've got stories to tell. What's wrong with my hands? They're not... Um, <clears throat> furry, are they? <laughs> Let's see. You have no idea. I am Claudius. I am the Dragonborn. I am a legend. Oh dear. No, no, no. Um. Though, I don't know if you were to say that in a sort of slightly sarcastic way, I don't know. As a matter of fact, I was at Helgen when the dragon attacked. You don't say. And by the looks of it, you managed to keep the writs about you. Impressive. I probably would have been staring at it. No, not just staring. I'd be completely awestruck. I mean, a dragon. A fairy tale come to life. That's what I'd be thinking right before it turned me to roast. Which is why you're an adventurer and I'm a blacksmith. Good point. Until next time. Indeed. Uh, right. Okay, better go fetch Greg then. Oh, by the way, we are, we're leaving Brack behind, I'm afraid. Um, he's been a useful fellow, and I will be sure to um, pick him up again next time we visit Falkreath, actually. Um, but, you know what they say about three being a crowd. Hello! How about, yeah, it's time for us to part ways. Fine. Be out hunting if you need me. Roger that. Okay. Um, see, he does, he's, he's not bothered. He's got things to do. Um, we honestly, like, dragging him around anyway, it wouldn't be fair because he wants to go find this, this uh, orc and, you know, have his vengeance or whatever. And we wouldn't be doing that. We'd be doing companion stuff and dragonborn stuff. You know, um, and that would just, we'd just be wasting his time. So I think it's only fair to leave him here. Um, 
Where the hell is my house, Carl? There, you lazy oaf. Come on. Ooh, nice hat. Are oh, you back to your cheery self then? What is it, Thane? Come on, let's go. You are following me, right? Yep, you are. Yeah, again, nice hat. Looks, it's a good look for you. Don't know why you suddenly started wearing it though, instead of the hood. I thought you liked the. Oh dear, Brack's horse has died. What sorcery is this? Um. I don't know. There's just something about the fact that that cart is there with one of the wheels spinning slightly. It just completes the picture. Where did it come from? Yeah, I'd like to know that too, random guard. Where did it come from? Did you? Neither would I. Brack, did you just kill a dragon? Did you just shoot the bugger right out of the sky? Is that what happened? Good grief. Remind me not to get on your bad side. What on? Well, you know, free dragon soul, I suppose. Um, I guess the the horse keeled over in in horror, and you know what I said about having a strange day, Greg. Well, you know, up until this point, it wasn't strange. That was just odd. This is strange. Uh, I don't want to harvest the dragon, damn it. That's, I, I thought I had that option turned off anyway. Um, well then. Let's go, shall we, before anything else... Even... Any, anything else even, even worse happens, frankly. You know, I'm beginning to think the contrast is a little bit much at the minute, actually. Um, it's a little bit high contrasty, and I think it might actually be affecting my video quality as well, which is not good. It might be, I, I noticed the last couple of videos been a bit funny like that. Um, I can show you, though, it's an opportunity to show you, the MCM version of the Imaginator here. There you go. So let's lower this to, say, 15. That's a bit better, isn't it? It wasn't an immediate change, it was a bit subtle. I might lower it just a tad more, actually. Uh, anyway, imagine here. Come here. Let's lower you to 12, maybe. For a trip tomorrow, and yeah, that's better. I think there we go. It was a bit much before. It, honestly, on the video, you probably guys probably wouldn't have been able to tell the difference there. I wouldn't at all be surprised. I'm gonna start trying to upload an even higher quality. I recently upload. Uh, I, I started putting videos in even much higher quality than I did previously, but even now, it still seems to look really crap on YouTube. It might be the codec I'm using, and there's really nothing I can do about it, but I am going to up the bitrate a bit more. Just to see if I can squeeze a bit sharper quality out of it when you're watching in 1080p. Because, honestly, the, 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 the intro video that I posted up, I watched that in 1080p. And it looked like it was 720p at the most. It really wasn't very good quality at all. Um... I know YouTube generally tends to butcher video quality in general anyway, it really makes a mess of it, it does. Because um, on, on, my, on my computer, the, the, the videos look lovely. Uh, they look nice and crystal clear and crap. Now the videos don't look crap, but I mean... You... Away with you! 
It had such a handy power. Greg, we shall never be troubled by bears again. What, Greg? Greg, oh, there you are. Come along. Whew. Let's save after that little incident. Uh. Anyway, yeah. Ooh. Things are happening. Yep, things are definitely happening. What do we got here? Uh, what the hell? I, I, I already drew my sword, damn it. Uh, Alright, this is, apparently this is serious business because the battle music started. What the hell are you? It's a winged twilight, apparently. Do you mind? Thank you, Greg. Oh, hello. Where are you off to? Oh, you're a courier, right? I better not bother you. Um. Well, excuse you. That. I've never seen one of you lot before. Why are you going on swirly? Stop it. Stop that. Stop it. Wind Twilight. This is obviously immersive creatures, I imagine. But, um, which I have updated as well, actually, so this is probably why it's new. Good grief, I haven't seen one of you lot since Morrowind. You've changed a bit, haven't you? Drayer Soul Gem, Ruby, and Void Salts. Well, that was interesting. Hooded Worshipper Robes. I won't steal the clothes off your back. I shall afford you that one dignity. I suppose, even though you're an evil scumbag. Probably an evil... Well, you attacked me, damn you. That, that makes you an evil scumbag by default, almost. Where's my horse? Horse. I by now I've killed one of every living thing in Skyrim. Maybe time for a trip... Well, oh, maybe you'll just have to start killing unliving things. Um... Because we're not going to Morrowind anytime soon. He said with a hint of irony. <sighs> Hello again, Riverwood. It actually feels like an age since I've seen this place. It seriously does. God, I'm getting lots of bad stutteriness. Do I even have the anti -stut stutter thing for Skyrim installed? Good grief. Maybe I don't. Maybe there is no such thing for Skyrim. I'm assuming there is, because I've got it for Fallout 3 and New Vegas and Oblivion. I need to check, actually, that. Uh, that would be probably, probably be a good idea. Well, hello again, Riverwood. Goodbye again, Riverwood. We're heading to Whiterun instead. Oh yes, new version of the water mod as well. Looks rather nice. If I don't say so myself, uh, I think it looks pretty good. Ah, a deer! I, you, you, you need not fear me, dear. I am neither under the sway of her scene at present, nor am, nor am I in need of venison. Trust me, I've got more than enough elk steak to last me a lifetime. How am I doing, actually? Peckish, slightly thirsty, slightly tired. Oh, that sounds about right. Peckish. I dined upon a pair of <laughs> Daedra worshippers earlier, and now apparently I'm peckish. Good grief. I have to wonder whether they're actually consuming people in werewolf form actually counts towards your hunger level. Oh, what the hell are you doing, Greg? I'm sorry, what was that? Nerevar what? I can't hear you over the sound of me killing you. Oh my goodness, that's another one of these jokers, isn't it? Yeah. I really do wish they'd just fuck off and leave me alone. Oh. 
Seriously. What is their problem? What is their problem? Everyone's trying to kill me at the minute. Everyone except that dragon, anyway. Kudos to him, I suppose. Isn't that, isn't that ironic? Apparently everyone except the dragons are trying to kill me. The dragonborn. Huh. Bloody hell. I apologise for the swearing, by the way, viewers. Um, now I just suddenly cut across my mind. Um, it's a, a vaguely interesting subject, though. I suppose. I mean, a lot of a lot of YouTubers make a deliberate effort not to swear in their videos. And for a time, I tried to do the same and failed miserably. I don't know. I just sort of uh, couldn't help it. Just sort of do it on a reflex sometimes. And well. Ah, uh, it doesn't really bother me too much. They're just words at the end of the day. I don't know a single person who I associate with in quote-unquote real life who does not swear like a sailor themselves. And, yeah, it doesn't really bother me, you know. I mean, if, if I have to put a disclaimer at the beginning of my video saying may contain language heard on your child's schoolyard, then so be it. Because let's face it, that's the truth. We've all been swearing since we were bloody ten years old, if 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 not earlier. So I don't know why everyone gets so uppity about it. I don't know. Maybe that's just because I went to a school in the Midlands. <laughs> Alright, we're here. We're here. We're home, Greg, I suppose. Your Vraskiri kind of is home to us. Um, really? Companions and all that? Although, I don't know. I really did like it down in Falkreath, I did. Didn't we get a wait? Didn't we get a letter from the Jarl of Falkreath at some point about buying land there or something? If we rendered services to him and all that kind of guff. Could have sworn we did. You weren't here then, Greg. Actually, now I think about it. This was a very long time ago. You see, back in the days before I was Thane of the Pale. Um, well, maybe I should look into that. I don't know. That is very bright. Extremely bright. It's not too bright, though. I don't know. Mm. It's difficult to say. Still messing around with my lighting settings a bit, really. I mean, I've got them largely where I want them, but... I don't know. Seems to be okay to me. Oh, Yorvaska, hello again. Hello. Mwah. I've missed you. You stupid great big upside down boat. How's everyone doing? How's Yorland? I wonder if I can improve my armor a bit more. I should try that at some point. Eh. Uh, I resent being called youngling. Thank you very much. Some of them might try. That's not Can you breathe fire, Skewer? <laughs> no, didn't think so. So buzz off. You younglings. Nonsense. Does Greg look like a youngling to you? I, he doesn't look like one to me. Greg is the only thing here that's scarier than you are, Skewer. And I bet you're not half as much fun at a, as a, at a party as Greg is. You were drunk for nearly two days. You realise that? Goodness me. I'll have to start carrying our mead in, in like a like a chest with a padlock on it or something. You're terrible. You're worse than Lydia was. Right. I suppose we better find Farkas and tell him that we've we killed those bandits. Again, what seems like a lifetime ago. Stutter, stutter. I really don't appreciate this, actually. It's kind of annoying. 
Ugh, I need to see if I can see about fixing that somehow. I need to see about getting that old, um... He's stealing all your lines, Greg. You can't have that. Don't take that from him. Go on, go punch him in the face. Go on, it'll be funny. <laughs> I need to I need to do something. I need to try and have a go using the, the Skyrim, you know, memory patch thing to solve some of my crashes, because I reckon that I, that's what that is. Like the occasional crashes I get. And I need to see about finding a stutter remover. It might seem silly that I don't have that installed if such a thing exists, but yeah, I don't have it installed. I'm a dumbass. I know. Shut up. Skior says that I have the strength of Isgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. I have taken care of the problem and possibly created about six others in the process, but never mind. I expected no less of you, and once again, you have not disappointed. Uh, well, you got anything else for me then while we're here? Skior was looking for you before. Talk to him before doing anything else. All right, it's a deal. As long as you stop. Jumping up and down like that. Very distracting. Hey, Miko. How you doing? How you doing, doggy? How are you? Have they been nice to you? They better have been. Okay. They feeding you, at least. Well, I think they did. It probably wouldn't matter if they were feeding you or not. You'd probably nick for food anyway. I know what I know what dogs are like, Miko. You, they leave this this hall unattended for five seconds, and you'll be up on that table munching away on all the food. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not own a dog, this is something you must be aware of. <laughs> if you ever hope to get a dog, yeah, don't leave them in a room alone with any food. They will eat it. Anyway, where's oh, he's probably out the back still. Duh. What the hell does he want? Is he going to tell me off again about something? The the, the wee youngling. Um. Apparently he's not out here. Well, whatever. I'm going to go say hello to Yorland. And make those crossbow bolts I was talking about as well while I'm at it. Yeah, there he is, still working away at his epic forge of epicness. Oh, right, yeah, Greg, Yorland, Yorland, Greg. Holy good grief, man, how the where the hell did you get that from? I'm talking about the sword and your armor and this crazy headband thing you've got. You look like an old bearded Conan the Barbarian, I'm impressed. I mean, the armor's ridiculous, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's completely impractical and, on the, on the whole, a little bit silly, but you're you're all in, so I guess you get away with it. I think by now I've killed one of every living thing in Skyrim. Devil? Maybe time for a trip tomorrow. Shield rack. This is the Immersive Armor's shield painting rack. You may wish to be in third-person mo mode for the best view. Warning, placing an item on this rack will destroy any enchantment item. Oh! Oh! Wait, so I can, I can, certain shields, I can paint them whatever color I like. You're going to be kidding. That's awesome. That is so cool. Huh. That's, oh, man. Oh, Greg, we're going to have to get ourselves, like, a coat of arms or something. All carry the same shield. That'd be great. Uh, anyway. How you doing? Got a lot of steel to shape. Yeah, this is quite a forge, isn't it? Skyforge? I, my clan fathers have worked it since the first great Shut up, Greg. came to Whiterun. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use, for good reason. It, it's, it's good. I'm, I tried and tested and all that. Um, Who are the companions? You're not a companion, are you, though, Yorland? Why? Who says I have I'm to? not saying you have to be. Skyforge steel is my art and honor. The companions need the best, so they come to me. Good for you, grumpy bastard. Uh, what do you got for sale? Yeah, all right, all right, you're fine. Buckler of Isgrimor. Crikey. That's that's something, isn't it? Uh, 
How's how's how good is my shield? Much better. <laughs> Unsurprising, considering it is in fact. Hey, have some Dumax. And have I got any Harolds I can give you while I'm at it as well, actually? No. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. Have some Harolds as well. Um, I'll exchange them for Septims. We got I Einherjar. Oh, sorry, I butchered the pronunciation of that. Um. I'll look it up at some point. Heavy Skyforge Light Shield. That makes no sense. Heavy Skyforge Light Shield. What? Okay, fine. Heavy Splintered Body Light Shield. Heroic. Hello. Hello. Okay, that's interesting. Um, light your Vasca shield. Hello. Armor zero again. Mm, I still haven't fixed that. Light Skyforge light shield. As opposed to a heavy, heavy shield, or a heavy light shield, or a light heavy shield. Bleh. Primitive Nord heavy helmet. Yes, primitive is correct. Look at that thing. Not only does it have ridiculous horns on it, but I don't think you could... You, pr you probably couldn't hear a damn thing from inside there. It's got no ear holes. At all. The top isn't particularly well reinforced. Look, it's not a dome shape. It's actually quite flat. You know, the grippy axe coming down on that thing. Yeah, no, you're... You're, you're, bother you're buggered, mate. Uh, yeah, no, no. Not good. Not good. It looks a lot like a Corinthian helm from real life, and, and Corinthian helms in real life were actually ditched for better ones. With good reason. It's a primitive Nord, -like, Nord heavy helmet, I suppose. Um, Ringmail hood. Oh, lots of Skyforge steel. Bits and bobs. Vanguard plate. Witch plate greaves. What? Hello. <laughs> That's nice armor. How am I, am I am I allowed to wear that or not? I'm not a member of the circle. Like, I'm not sure I'm, I'm allowed to wear that or not. Yeah, that seems a bit still. It's not actually. Oh crikey! It's actually 42 points worse than my my heavy plate. However, just a hunch, but I think yeah, it's a, lot, a good deal lighter and. You've got to bear in mind, actually, that wolf armor, I can actually improve quite a bit of forge, whereas this steel plate, I can't at all, because I don't have the perk for it. That said, hello there. But then again, look at the walls. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm, either way, let's drop a save. I just want to see what this looks like, if nothing else. I really do. I've got to see this. I seriously have to go, have to see this. Um, well, it doesn't entirely fit with the rest of my getup, I must admit. However, as an individual piece of armor... Hell yeah. Look at that. There are always Truly majestic. Like, like a, a general or something. Oh, my frame rate is being so crap at the minute. Ugh. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's mostly because I'm recording. And also because the entire bloody town's in that direction. Um, frame rate's fine when I look this way, so. Yeah, not bad. Oh, what the... Oh, saving again. <laughs> cool beans. Cool beans, indeed. Doesn't work quite as well with the wolf skin, actually, though. At least not in my opinion. Very, very cool, but... Not now. Nope. 
It's technically better, but it just it doesn't quite work. If you had a full set of Heroic Imperial, maybe I'd consider it. But he doesn't, so... And, and I'll be honest with you guys, I feel like Claudius is moving away from that a bit. He's still loyal to the Empire and all that stuff, but... He's carving out his own identity right now, separate entirely from the Legion. And, uh... Kind of reflecting that in the clothes that he wears. Um... Either way, where the bloody hell is Skewer? He was out here a second ago, and then he pulled a disappearing act. Where are you? There you are. We really have a lot of respect for Skewer, Greg. I am sort of just teasing. Skewer's a Legion veteran himself, so... We kind of like him, but he is... He is pretty scary, all the same. Ah, there you are. At least he's ditched that gigantic sword, anyway. That thing was terrifying. Um, you wanted to see me, apparently. Yes. I have something a little different planned this time. Oh, really? But it's not for everyone to hear. Meet me in the Underforge tonight. We will speak more. Where is the... In what, what? Underforge? Eh? Come again? I forget that you've never seen it. Beneath the Skyforge, where Yorland works. The door is hidden. I will show you the way. Righto. All right then. Um, Greg, you better stay here. What is it then? Apparently, I have business to attend to. Still, don't know if I'm in trouble or not. Uh, either way. I go find out what he wants. Um, the gray beards are a I think I have a I have a bit of a feeling of what this might be about between you and me, Greg. But uh, I need one way to find out exactly. What are you like, Skill? Honestly, go on, get down from there. Yes, it is. Is this not night to you? I can see stars and everything. You silly bugger. You know what? I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, this is a the uh, new thing. Um, it really serves no practical purpose. This mod here that changes the way this looks, other than to um, allow you to wait for a very incredibly long time in case you need to reset cells and things like that. So, either way, we would just want to wait an hour. There we go. I usually fix his problems like that. I feel tired and therefore <laughs> overweight, apparently. Wonderful. Ella will be joining us shortly. Once she's inside, we can follow. Uh, I think she's inside, mate. Uh, the carrying capacity issue. This is a issue. Uh, how much am I over by? One, one point. A single bloody point. Wait. What can I ditch that's... Damn it, I wish I had my horse right now. Fresh... Oh, that's for the dog, isn't it? Yeah. Elk steak. Damn you, elk steak! Wait, if I just drink this boiled water? I'm still carrying too much to run, apparently. Bother. What if I eat some elk, st elk steak? Uh, will that do the job? It did indeed. There we go. Right. Um, Are you prepared? Be, in order to answer that question, Skior, I, I kind of feel like I need to point out that I would have to know what I'm being prepared for in the first place in order to know whether or not I'm prepared. Uh, what is this place, anyway? Here's all you need to know. Your Vasker is the oldest building in Whiteland. Skyforge was here long before it was. And the Underforge taps an ancient magic that is older than men or elves. We bring you here to make you stronger, New Blood. Now let's move. Would be lying if I said I wasn't a bit nervous. That's neat, though. I'm glad you. I would hope you recognize Ayla. 
even in this form. She's agreed to be your forebear. Uh, can we go? What? I mean, don't get me wrong, I, lo I love this whole bat cave thing you've got going on, but... We do this in secret because Codlack is too busy trying to throw away this great gift we've been granted. He thinks we've been cursed, but we've been blessed. How can something that gives this kind of prowess be a curse? True. We take matters into our own hands. To reach the heights of the companions, you must join with us in the shared blood of the wolf. Are you prepared to join your spirit with the beast world, friend? I... More ready than I thought I'd be. To tell you the truth, Skill. But, uh... You know, I mean, hypothetically speaking, what if I didn't want to be a werewolf? That is your choice. We will not force you. But to join the circle, your blood must be as ours. Meet us here when you're ready. Yeah. In the history of potentially terrible ideas, I have a feeling... This might go down somewhere in the top 50. But you know what, Skior? I am ready. Very well. I suppose you want me to drink it, right? Yeah? The blood calls, brother. Yes, All it right. does. I can't believe this twice in one day. Here goes nothing. 